Hi, I'm Peter. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Clivus Moltrum 8. I'm going to walk you through the features of it, what you receive when you order one of these, and how to pre-assemble it before you install it. So the first thing you need to do when you receive it is undo these screws, wing nuts, undo the four bolts in the corners. These are only temporarily there uh, for packing purposes. So this is your internal baffle, your um, deck tight, more vent piping, your packing list, how to use guide, which you can mount on the back of your wall, your seal. This is for your um, absorption trench. You'll need uh, 20 mil aggregate, probably, uh, and a, a trench around about 1.5 meters long. Accessories, your vent components, which is all your piping. If you need additional piping, because your uh, house is quite um, high, this is 100 mil DWV pipe, which you can get at most hardware or plumbing shops. Your maintenance rake, this is for your drainage, and then all your screws and components. Wood shavings, this is your bulking agent, two bags. When you um, first set up the tank, you will need to put one of these in the bottom of the tank. Quite heavy, this is your pedestal. Be very careful with it. Um, it's porcelain. Obviously, there's options available of what type of pedestal you do. And then last, the chute. It goes with your pedestal. Okay, now that you've emptied the tank, what we have to do is uh, assemble it. But before we assemble it, I'm gonna run through the actual features. So personally, the actual uh, tank comes with a false floor. And in the false floor, there are wicks. These wicks allow uh, moisture to be drawn from the holding tank underneath, which is where all the excess fluids go, draws it back up into the pile. An ideal compost pile is around about 65% moisture content. The next thing is um, a venting. So when you install your vent pipe, there will be a, uh, the vent coming out of the side of the tank or out of the front of the tank, wherever you might install it. This allows a bit of air to be drawn from the bottom of the tank and up through out in the vent pipe. Another feature is the excess fluids drain point that's here. That drains out into your absorption trench, which you need to install 1.5 meters long. There's not much comes out of the drain, but you need to install that. And now the baffle, this comes as a separate item. Slide that into these grooves here. Note that we've got the rib facing you. Peel the backing tape off and stick it over there. So you can stick it over the top of the holes that are there. And now you're ready to put the lid back on. We have someone to help you do this. It's a bit easier. Now, because this is polyethylene, it does uh, shrink and expand in the sun. So you'll find that you'll have to line up the holes and I suggest using a Phillips head screwdriver and poke that in through the hole, line it up and then start putting all your bolts and nuts in. A couple more features about the tank now that we've assembled it. The tank actually can be buried up to here. We do supply a anchor kit which mounts on the side of the tank. This stops the tank from floating up in case you're in high water table areas. This is your maintenance hatch. Opens up here. This is where you insert your rake and you rake the pile. So what happens normally, your pedestal will be sitting on top here. It forms a cone shape as you're using it. So the idea is to spread that material towards the back. And notice the actual tank has a sloping back on the inside. And the idea of that is that it migrates your material towards the front as you're uh, filling the tank up. And it will migrate to the front here. You can put your wood shavings in your bulking agent in now before you actually install it under the house. But I'm suggesting you probably don't want to do that because it does make your tank a lot heavier to maneuver. The idea would be to make sure that you have wood shavings up until the underside of the baffle. So all the way up to here. You'll need almost one and a half of those bags to do that. Right up here, fill it up and water it, wet it down, and then your tank will be ready for use. A quick lesson on a really good compost pile. You need basically five main ingredients. Firstly, you need the waste. That's our human waste. 
Secondly, you need water, moisture content. So a moisture content of a good compost pile is 65% moisture and water. The third one is carbon, very important. And that normally comes in the form of a bulking agent, which we supply you the bag of um, wood shavings. And fourthly is your uh, oxygen. So that's the vent pipe, draws oxygen through the pipe. And then finally, we need our little microorganisms, which do all the work. So a balance of all of those ingredients and you get a really good compost pile. Anything that's, if, say your moisture content is 10%, you will not get composting happening. You need to keep all of those in balance. To remove compost, um, I suggest that you probably won't be removing any compost for the first year at least. And then after that, maybe once a year, you may take a wheelbarrow load out, depending on how many people are using the system. We've got uh, customers who've had one of these tanks for 10 years and they only empty some material out every five years. To do that, open this lid. What you do is you get your shovel and you dig up underneath here. So remember, this is what we call a continuous system. So fresh material comes at the top. The compost material is at the bottom and it migrates towards the front because of the sloping back. And you just dig out underneath here and remove that material. Don't remove material unless your compost pile is a, you know, getting towards the top of this uh, hatch here. Uh, thank you for watching. Any further information, please contact our customer service. They're willing and able to help you with your installation.